Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu, the popular Linux distribution, on Windows 11 using the Windows subsystem for Linux. We'll go step by step through enabling key features in Windows, getting WSL set up, downloading the latest Ubuntu image from the Microsoft Store, initializing it and creating your default Ubuntu user account. Using WSL allows you to get the benefits of both operating systems without the need for dual booting or virtual machines. Step 1. Requirements. Before we begin, you'll want to make sure you're running the latest version of Windows 11. WSL is only supported in Windows 11 and Windows 10 version 2004 and higher. To ensure smooth performance when running WSL, your computer should meet these minimum system requirements, dual-core processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 10 GB of available disk space. Step 2. Enable WSL and Virtual Machine Platform. You'll also need to enable a few optional features in Windows before installing WSL. Don't worry, I'll walk you through that process. The first things we need to enable are the Windows subsystem for Linux itself and the virtual machine platform. In your Windows search bar, type, turn Windows features on and off. In this list find the Windows subsystem for Linux and virtual machine platform, then turn on these two features. This will enable the necessary features and components. You'll likely need to restart your machine afterwards before continuing. Step 3. Install WSL from the Microsoft Store. Open the Microsoft Store and search for Windows Subsystem for Linux and click Install. This will take some time to install on your machine. We appreciate you all watching these free tutorials. Please like, subscribe, and share to support the channel so we can keep making more. Now, back to the tutorial. Step 4. Install Ubuntu. Now we're ready to install our Linux distribution that we'll use with WSL, in this case Ubuntu. Next search for Ubuntu. Select the latest version published by Canonical or Ubuntu. In this case, I am going to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Once it finishes installing, the Ubuntu tile will be pinned to the Start menu and we can launch it there. Or you can simply click the Open button on the Microsoft Store. Step 5. Initialize and create user account. The first time Ubuntu is launched, it will initialize the Linux file system and then prompt you to create a default username and password. Simply choose a username and password just like you would for an account on Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. This will be the account that you first access when opening an Ubuntu terminal or shell through WSL. Now you can use Ubuntu on your Windows computer. It is difficult to set up graphic user interface for Ubuntu, but you can install Kali Linux with a GUI. Check this video on our channel for step-by-step -step process to get Kali Linux with GUI on Windows 11. So that wraps up a straightforward process for installing your own Linux environment using the Windows subsystem for Linux. Ubuntu is now installed and ready provide a great step towards using Linux right within Windows. There are so many possibilities now that you have access to Linux terminal tools, applications, and more without needing to dual boot or use virtualization. Let me know in our Minex Tech Forum if this video helped you get WSL set up or if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.